Hello and welcome back to Humankind. So, just before we start, I just wanted to point this out. So, in the last game, we got a achievement here, which was from zero to hero. So, we have got, uh, we are the first to reach the new era after reaching the previous era last. So, we were last place in the previous era, and we're now first. So... I honestly think that if we can outlast the, uh, I mean, they're not the Huns now, are they? They're the Aztecs. But the pink boar tribe, or whatever you want to call them here, if we can beat them here, drive their armies back. We might possibly be in a position where soon enough, where soon enough we can recover from this and then push back at them. We need victories though. We desperately need victories in a massive way. Right. Okay. Their battle management. They've got Huns, 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 and Huns. With additional Huns, 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 and a blister. <laughs> the good news is the Hunnic hordes are beginning to fall behind. And, on that note as well, we will be going for... I'm wondering if it's giving me that... Uh... Yeah, here we are. So I've had a think about this while I was having a bit of a break, having me, uh, having me dinner. And I think it's going to have to be... Um, it's going to have to be the industry. We need that industry. So, I'm going to be adopting these, plus we get more elephants. This time with our own blisters on them. So we're going to be going uh, Kerma. Ooh, look, we're all bejeweled. Wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge, and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off. <laughs> Greater empires build more powerful armies, but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations. It is brains versus brawn, with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. For innovation and brute strength, the Khmer present you with sophisticated hydraulic engineering and ballista equipped elephants. Right. More of our civs are converting to our religion. Uh, not civs, more of our cities. Hmm. Can we get more units in there before the end? Don't think we quite can, can we?
Right. Getting a real good charge down this flank. <laughs> we are now stronger overall. to take this high ground. Okay. Couple of horsemen. A few more. A little bit of damage de uh, dealt. Ooh, they're surrounded. And they're attacking uphill. Plinking away at me. Okay, our turn again. Well, this is fairly obvious. If they're just going to let me have their base. Far more damage to these on the flat. In fact, we can just straight up kill them. Right. Get them with the anti cavalry units. Do I want to attack these of the citizen unit? Could weaken them so they do less damage. I assume you do less damage as you take uh take hits, but yeah, hmm. 
but it will basically destroy this unit. At the very least, it'll delay them getting to their outpost. Right, okay, I think that, hmm, let's have a look, what can we do here? Yeah, that's the that's the move there. One final charge with the elephants. to take this flag. Probably going to lose that swords, uh, that swordsman unit there. We might take a unit out with them, but I think we might be able to just hang on here with this uh, elephant. Have, see, have these gone yet? They have not. That right, we're probably losing the elephant then. Victory. We've got one elephant left. Good lord. And our war support so nice 
is now up. Got a lot of small bands knocking about, haven't they? Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got one elephant, yep. Um Wow, we probably don't have our new uh, culture unit, do we? I could produce some uh, spearmen. Quickly throw them into the fray. In an attempt to uh, finish off these roaming bands that are knocking about here. But, yeah, it's going to be a bit of an issue, this. Right. Let's start producing some men. We're going to need a lot more. Let me guess, blink, 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 blink with the arrows and then I'm dead. Most likely what's going to happen. I know from the beta because I managed to get to that area first that the Huns are absolutely, the, I mean, brilliant to play with obnoxious as hell from this experience to play against. Hopefully we've still got yet a smidge of war support. We're holding but not very well. Um, Carthage now has 67 industry. Lovely to see. Um, we are going to need units. We are going to need all the units. <laughs> um, hmm. And yeah, just sending in a bunch of uh, spearmen. Throwing some archers as well. Throw them in. Ah. So I've got all of this now. Oh, that is... At least we've got Sipar back. Right, we're going to have to get them back for that. I'm... Am I still at war? Um, how can I help you? Right, we can get we can get some revenge here. I'm now no longer split between these two. Oh, we can enact a tenant on our religion. Um Ah, and there's already 
being picked across the board by everyone else. One, f one influence on mountain and a max number of holy sites increase. Industry on forest and woodland. We have got that nice big forest nearby, up here uh, near Sipar. Uh, food on coastal water and lakes. Both of these are good. Um, hmm. We have two coastal cities. Sipar does have water inside of it, but also forest. In fact, yeah, there are, there are a lot of forests about. The industry is better than the food. Hmm. We'll go for the industry, I think, that. And we've got Sipar back. Uh, cannot be done due to the city's current stability. Mutinous. Sipar. So this population has gotten so out of control that building new districts has become impossible. Soon they will take arms again to an attempt to secede from your empire. Building stability focused infrastructures or acquiring luxury resources should help with this situation. Stability focused. Public fountain. Okay, and we could have city watch. Does not add anything useful uh, to the city. Ah, we need a garrison first. Of some description, apparently. Right. Public fountain, then. That's what it will have to be. <laughs> Your empire becomes one of the giants astride the globe. And what will you do with this power? Okay. A pleasure to see you again. We won't ignore this unless you pay us to. A most offensive outrage. Wow. They've got loads of cities with our religion, so we get grievances on all of them. If we win a war against them, I think basically they give us everything back, and then some. Uh, how's the culture conversion going? So that's completely weakened my culture in the entire region. Um, We are still at war, I believe, with the Greens, so, uh, yeah. Do not waste my time. <laughs> Which is weird, they're at war with me, yet ideologically we are kinship. <laughs> we should love each other. Yet they hate me because we have a different re religion and they're jealous. So basically they want my they just want my stuff and that's enough. We want your stuff. War. Right. What I want to do here is just take as much from the greens as I can. Get this, get this. 
just get as much as I can before the war is over. It'll be a few turns yet before my uh, units are ready. But these two armies should be able to take this city. We should also be able to defend against these little roaming groups. I don't think they have the strength to take anything of mine at the moment. Um, the Aztecs need to be taken care of. I think this entire, like the entire medieval period, it's going to be, um, it's going to be us building up forces and just preparing to invade probably a CAD. These areas along here and then just pushing up and taking cities. It's just going to be a struggle against the Aztecs. But we have to start by getting the greens. What are these now? They're still the Maoyans. We're just going to have to get them out of the picture. The battle for the mine. The great city of Carthage is, Carthage is bursting at the seams. Countless souls pressed within the city's tight borders. In the dense squalid quarters, cases of madness are on the rise. Religious leaders contend that, the demo, uh, that demonic forces are behind the afflictions, while the philosophers argue for natural causes. Both are strong voices in the empire with competing solutions. What is your response? Study. We can get science, we can pray to get faith, or judge, um, and we can get some money. We will be doing some studies. We'll look into it. What is their war support now? Not very high. They just javelin throw us. Not even that, the swordsmen. Okay, we can rip them apart. Right, let them go on the attack. Lose their defensive bonus for being in forests. got one guy left. Christ am I. How crap are spearmen? I'm beginning to realise that spearmen are utterly just the worst unit in the game. Even these unique ones, they are just terrible. I mean, they're, they're, con they're only used as fodder troops, I think, at this point. Ah, uh, mind you. Oh, no, they're not too bad. Yeah, iron. The Yeah, so these are a unit above, I guess. I was thinking they were like the equivalent of Civ, uh, Civ 6 as warrior units, but no, they're not, are they? Yeah, so they're, they're one up from the spears, right. We'll be fighting them again, though. I uh, got two of them, but we got him. We'll be able to make swordsmen soon when we take this over and get that damn iron. Right. 
Stability is looking fine. Uh, what can we do here? We can get some commons quarters for influence and some. Uh, yeah, we can get some adjacency bonuses on this. That would give us two food free science, five food free science. That's probably pretty good there. And a barrier. Uh, 7 food 13, 8 food 21 industry. Jesus Christ. Okay, we want one of those there. Sounds like some kind of uh, mega building, which we absolutely want. Um, we should also look into putting one of these down here. And here, 18 industry there. Good lord. 12 food, 11. Okay, so we would lose 7 food if we build it. Can we build one per territory? Right. I believe we can. So in 20 turns we'll have that. Very nice. Very, very nice. New civic. Land and freedom. We can do land rights as a civic. Um, I'm not using it on anything else. So, inherited or communal? It literally is, are we collective or individual? Uh, we'll be going inherited. An interesting choice, which may lead to a concentration of wealth with interesting and unexpected consequences. Okay. We can push them uh, to the point where we've got, uh, where they'll not have war support anymore. I'm thinking, right, this is what we can do as a move. Take this and this. Just take them out of the picture. Ooh, it looks like they're trying to besiege as well. That'll be interesting. What have they got? Horses and swordsmen. I think that'll be their last ditch effort to get something from this war. Hopefully we don't crush them because I would before it's over like to take this city and then we can just get that in the deal. We may even, because we've forced surrender, be able to get something else like uh, Fiastos. We might be able to get this and then we can attack this. I know they're, they're neutral but we could take this as a third city. And then we'd be able, we'd be in a very good position to most likely just culturally convert a CAD, if nothing else. The pressure from three cities along with, I think even these through us, will be kind of through osmosis converting the fringe areas over here. A CAD might just fall to culture. Uh, if that happens and we manage to get most of this region locked down, we are back on strong footing and can start looking to take over uh, from the Aztecs once again. Speak quickly. 
You know, I'm concerned for other people of fact. You can buy my restraint with land, nothing else. We demand that all the people following our religion are part of our nation, and you are oppressing them clearly, and this is definitely not just an excuse for me to grab land. How dare you! How dare you! What can we get? Ooh, crossbowmen. I almost thought that said pirates. When I saw the hook and like him in them clothes, I thought it was going to be an ape start with PL. Like, ooh, pirates. No, no, peasants. Peasants. Uh, yeah. Um, create a city with a small package of infrastructure already built. Ooh, starts with all infrastructures from era 1 to 2. Nice. So new cities will have some small amounts of stuff available. Very nice. And we do need, once we've kind of got things under control, we need to get those infrastructures in place. They're being neglected at the moment, I believe. They really aren't they? Right, that'll probably do for now. In terms of the tech tree. A water a grave. The great coastal city of Carthage sends fishing crews far up and down the surrounding coastline. Now one of the new crews has made a, a startling discovery. Wreckage of an ancient galley lying well preserved in shallow waters. After brief scouting, an experienced diver offers to explore with their gang and promises a fixed payoff for the Empire. They warn that the expedition uh, isn't for the inexperienced. What is your choice? Our military can explore the wreckage alone. The rewards are worth the risk. We can contract them. A professional should be used. A risk-free reward is worth losing some of the full bounty. We should let the dead sleep, lest we offer their, uh, lest we offend their old gods, and we get plus twenty-five percent fear for ten turns. Um. We'll, we'll just contract. Right. Carthage has nearly produced its full army. Babylon already has. Our relief force is on the way. Hold on, Leventa. Their horsemen have to kill a war elephant. <laughs> Good luck. And I won't be attacking because they're not ranged. They don't have ranged units. I have no reason to leave this, these fortifications. No reason at all. What's the words I'm looking for? Uh, come at me, brah. Come on. Come at me, lad. Come on. Come get some. You think you're hard enough? You come get some. I'm just going to wait. You can fight me. You can fight me on my terms. I'm going to just end turn. You, you, you're not, you're not, don't, do you not want to? No, no, no siege in me. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, you're going you're gonna to sit there. Yeah, you, you, you sit there. You watch. Don't do a thing. You, you're not going to do a thing. You aren't. Might even be worth can sneak around to here. Hmm, nah. Right, we'll come through here.
Right. We will end the turn there. We'll open this back up. Okay, we've opened a seam. That one might have been a mistake, going uphill like that against a superior force. Now we can plink away at these. And that's basically what the goal has been, get these archers in. Just plinking away at them. They have to get past this unit if they want to get at the archers. And the elephant is basically made for trampling these swordsman units. The archers should counter those horsemen. Let's go, let's go. Right. Carthage has finished producing its units. Twenty one there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we, we can do plus twenty one uh, <laughs> industry. <laughs> that sounds fun. Ooh, when we get this taken back as well, because we will. We will. Uh, how's my cultural spread looking? Not too great at the moment. But the Aztecs are actually losing these areas. Um, hmm. We will see. We might be able... Again, we might be able to get... If we can get a foothold... Here, we've been kind of at the edge of things for a while, but... Yeah... Okay, which ones are we going to crush with the elephants? Them. Got them. Do not waste my time. Hmm. Right. We are going to 
Drop a sieve. Just here. And I am going to refuse these terms. They're going to give me 480 quid. That's not even the cost of the unit that I just lost. That's pathetic. Really? You think backing off is that simple? Get out of here. So they'll get a bit of war support. That'll keep them in the fight. I want this city. I don't want a bit of money. I want to take a city. Ah, we don't have any units at the moment. Uh, any population at the moment. Okay. We will have soon, but... Yeah, it might not hurt to put up some uh, farmer's quarters or something. Or can we get one of these districts in? Five food and eleven uh, industry? Sounds like a good plan to me. Right, while the to recovers, in fact we've got a unit stationed over here, we can send these up as well, and between these two uh, armies, hopefully that'll be enough. Religious feeling is strong, uh, is strong across the empire. But that is not preventing discord from, emer uh, from emerging from among the faithful. Great cities are finding themselves under the sway of diverse religious leaders, who each see the standard creed with different eyes. Uh, new religious orders are emerging every year, and their influence is growing. What should you do with these groups? You can dissolve them to get uh, fanatical faith. Tolerant to get some faith um, or lead why would you go for influence I can only see you doing that because you want to move towards the world on this axis so fanatical and four cities for ten tolerant and four cities for ten or fanatical Oh, I guess. I guess what it is, is have you, how much faith do you get? If you don't have much, then the plus five might be, bet be better. I thought it said plus five percent. It's not. That's a set number. These are percentages. Hmm. We don't produce much faith. I'll have a look, but I don't believe we produce very much. Um... Hmm, hang on. Why does it even say? And we get Mycenaeans polytheism. Oh, we've got their religion then. Oh. Well, that's crap. <laughs> I don't think we produce much religion, so I'll just go for the set amount. I've not been doing any kind of religious focus.
15 farmers quarters, you'll soon be needing another 15 quarters just for food storage. <laughs> I've got beef. What? Well, what finished build? Oh, it's probably. Yeah, I think this counts as one. Right. Let's get some. Uh, can we get some good industry going here? We absolutely can. We'll get some of these infrastructures then. Um, lumber yards, forges, all sounds good to me. Thirty farmers' quarters is quite a milestone. Let's hope the population is getting some exercise as well. Wait, what? <laughs> Thirty now. What, where are these coming from? That? How many does that count as? Does it like turn everything nearby into them as well, or something ridiculous? Don't babble and speak swiftly. Proposal? Never. You insult us. Wait one turn. Right, we've got good industry. How much money could I get from somewhere around here? What, what makes these tiles better? Adjacent markets. Hmm. So you'd have to put them next to each other, I suppose. Not really anywhere good, is there? I think they need to be near like near like harbors and things. Maybe Babylon could get some going along here. Yeah, can we get plus four there? Right. But Sipa, what can we do with you? It's mostly just a massive industrial quarters as this. I recommend here and there. Uh, I think it's saying plus 15 because, yeah, it would replace a district that's there already. 
that's taking five stability up. Um, so that's a garrison, and we can get um, City Watch, which gives plus five stability on a garrison. So it might be a good idea here. Place it somewhere here where it's maybe on. Do we have any adjacency? Maybe just put it adjacent to the city there and then we can go with the city watch and try to get some more stability um, we can also put an aqueduct in that should uh, that should solve it right that's the final turn wait on these we now have two full armies ready to rock I believe we can now take a city. We are going to take this area and hopefully then we can start really carving out this region. The goal is to try and just take as many cities as we can until we just basically we can start flipping things. And this is basically their strong, uh, their stronghold in the region here. Right, feudalism has been researched. Lovely, lovely. Right. I hope I bring a champion as unpleasant for you as it is for me. Was it we have all the... No, I'm sure with the CAD we had all those grievances for them. I guess the they must have converted their faith because they've been taken over. That's probably why all the religions flipped in the region. Because they've been winning all the damn wars. Right. Right, they have a bunch of citizens. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can win. I think I can win that.
Ooh. Right, let's see what they do. Oh, it still my go. Um, oh, I'm not gonna defend up there. But, uh, I'm not gonna attack up there, but they can come back down here where I'm in a, dif in a forest. Right. I think I'm going to lose a few units, but I think this is mine now. They can't do anything about these archers. Yeah. Right. Next turn. Got him. Lost three units. Uh, just spears, fairly cheap. But that's mine. <laughs> that should end it. At this rate, the entire city is going to turn into an automaton. <laughs> okay.
Right, we are forcing surrender. Uh, we have 58, so we can't make them a vassal. But, oh, we can't even force them to give us that. Hmm. Why can I not keep this? I mean, I get that I've not got a massive war score, but I've taken it. Can I cancel? No. Oh. Declared one the Aztecs. Okay. They're at war with the Aztecs then. Your people see it as a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. The Aztecs have got to the medieval era and have kept their traditions. Now, with their Hunnic hordes dispatched, and that they're behind because they've been expending all their resources, and are now at war with the uh, green team here, I think that puts us in an excellent position. You. Your presence darkens my day. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to war with them. I think next episode. Ooh. We need to f create a military. I mean, we've got one, but it's pathetic. We have had some time to start building up our resources again. We can absolutely run in there and just trash the place. I want to take, firstly I want all of a cad, right? I think we build up a military, we take Gamma as kind of a, a dry run, a test, can we take this? Then from here we launch strikes at a cad, take that, get the entire region under lockdown, push north from Leventa, so we'll probably want a force down here, we'll want to create more units to send north, and I think just start striking into these regions here, find where the cities are, take them out. The greens will be pushing from this direction, so we can probably have blue territories here while the greens take areas up here. And then, maybe, they'll not be jealous of us anymore, and we can start looking at an alliance of some description and some mutual trade. Rather than the current agreements we've got, where we basically just keep stabbing each other every so often. Um, so, on that note, because we will be finishing the episode now, but I think that that means we are going to need to queue up some units, and what units can we build currently? We still can't get anything too substantial. Let me have a look at the science queue. What have we queued up here? We are, yeah, we are getting on the way there. Hmm. But what if... Um, can I reset this? Uh, right. What if... We did war summons. Uh, ooh, trebuchets. 
fort. There's our unique unit. There's some swordsmen there. And then we can go theology. And we'll go into seafaring a bit and then we'll go straight back into the military and move for steel. Yeah, we need those pikemen. We need an upgrade to our spear boys. We need to get to pikes. Pikes and crossbowmen. That's what we desperately need now. So, with that in mind, I'm going to drop a save here. And we will continue on from this point. Our empire is looking... It's still looking strong. We're holding it together. We are surpassing people with technology. We just need the economy and infrastructure to back that up. If we can get that, and I think, the, again, the best way, we need to take these territories. Take this. Maybe even look at pushing north. We can absolutely, while uh, the Aztecs are dealing with the... Are these still the Mayorans? Uh, yeah, the Maurians, however you pronounce it. God, they are they are behind. They're, everyone's falling behind here because they've all been warring rather than actually researching things and building their cities up a bit. At least I've kept a bit of a mixture going. But, if I can take these areas, the next war that I'm in, I'll be three cities stronger nearly twice my strength and I should be able maybe even if I beat the Aztecs with a nice bit of war support going to make a bit of a land grab up here hmm can maybe take some of these border territories right but we'll be leaving it there for the episode Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.